Well, where do we start with that? It finishes at Craven Cottage, Fulham nil, Newcastle United 2. And in a most bizarre game that you'll ever wish to see for a long time, because most of that game, we were rotten. It's fair to say we were absolutely rotten. Uh, however, it's one of those games that a result counts more and you get through to the next round and we are now safely in the hat for tomorrow's draw. Um, the game started, of course, without Miggy uh, illness, apparently. I mean, whether you want to believe that or not, that's what Newcastle United have said, uh, that he's out with illness. Uh, the same with Lascelles with a groin strain. Believe that if you wish. Uh, I think he could be heading to Besiktas uh, sooner rather than later. Um, however... That start at 11 for, for, for me is still strong enough. Um, Fulham made seven changes. And I thought to myself before the game, you know, seven changes. We've had a couple of weeks off. We're ready to go. Uh, and I thought we would, we would really go at Fulham tonight. But it was the other way around. They went at us and caused us all sorts of problems. Um, the first 20, 25 minutes, we were stinking. Um, yes, Murphy had a wonderful opportunity in the first five, six minutes. Really poor finish. Uh, glad to see him back, massively glad to see him back, but a really horrific finish. Uh, and then, of course, the offside goal, he should have done that when he was uh, on his first chance, buried it in the bottom corner. Uh, but apart from that, we were rotten, guys, and players weren't on the game at all. We were, we were giving the ball away around our penalty area, which is, I mean, that's a, a cardinal sin for me. You can't give the ball away in those positions of a football field. You know, you're asking for trouble. Uh, but lucky for us, Fulham really didn't have the, the bite at the right end of the pitch to cause us any sort of problems. Muniz uh, hit that shot that Dubravka, you know, brilliantly saved. I mean, he was going the wrong way and then he uh, obviously full stretch to turn it around the post. But he kind of miss hit the shot. Uh, but that that's all they, they offered as for forcing Dubravka to make any saves. There were some good opportunities, good crosses into the box, but they couldn't put a foot on it. And yeah, people will say, you know, you got away with it a little bit. Absolutely, we rode our luck 100% uh, in that first half. But then we, we do take the lead. Uh, one of the, the few attacks we had going forward in that first half, the ball's bouncing around in the penalty area. Uh, Fulham claim a handball off Bruno, never in a month of Sunders. That, that's not handball anymore, Fulham, unfortunately for you. Uh, but Sean Longstaff took the brilliantly on his left foot, volleyed it into the bottom corner. And I thought then that might restore a bit of confidence for us, just settle us down a little bit into the game. Uh, but I, it went the same way all the way up until half time. Fulham pressing us, giving the ball away in silly situations. And you're looking at that 11 on the field and you think, right, should Dan Byrne come off? Because for most of that first half, he was stinking. But Dan Byrne then stayed on and ended up getting the man of the match on the TV. I mean, look, the second half started the same way as the first half, Fulham pressing us, but then we score a second. Again, brilliant corner from Trippier, and Botman's header was superb. Great save from the keeper, but Dan Byrne does what you're supposed to do, followed it up and absolutely lashed it into the back of the net. And from then on, from then on, we started playing some nice football. You know, yes, Fulham kept going at us. They had to. They were 2-0 down in the FA Cup. They had to keep going at us. But what we started to do is we started to play some nice one-touch football. Uh, we had a few breaks. You know, Gordon came into the game taking players on. Uh, I thought Isak put himself about excellently tonight. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to see some of the balls to Isak just didn't quite come off tonight when he was making the good runs to, to break, break through. Sometimes the balls were under hit that just weren't quite... Uh, at the races with the, with the passes through, uh, which was a little disappointing because Isak could have had a couple. But he was willing to run at defenders all night, Isak, every time he had the ball. Uh, his passing in the first half was a little bit hit and miss, but then again, whose wasn't? I thought Trippi was outstanding tonight. Uh, really, after all the rigmarole of the Bayern Munich situation, you could have possibly understand uh, him just having to take a little bit of time getting back into it again. Not at all. He was at it from the start. Set pieces a lot better as well. Um, and we hope that, the obviously, the it looked like his calf uh, where he went off. So hopefully it's not too much of a bad calf strain that he's got that will keep him out of Tuesday. Because Tuesday is now a massive game. Because if we're openly honest as Newcastle fans, we have to start improving in the Premier League now. We have to start picking points up in the Premier League and really, really going for it and trying to finish as high up in the table as we can uh, and hopefully into a European, uh, European place. Because for me, that'll make all the difference in the summer getting players in. Uh, but now, I mean, the midfield for me is still too weak. You know, I, I worry about that midfield and think, is that is that midfield strong enough to take us forward for the rest of the season? I am, I'm, I'm not so sure, guys. I'm not. 
Um, Miley did okay tonight. I thought he played well. Longstaff, brilliant in the second half again. Uh, put himself around really, really well. Bruno came into the game as time went on. Uh, but Bruno wasn't at the races today. But he's allowed a bad game, guys. He's allowed to play. Uh, he can't be 10 out of 10 every single game. That's impossible for any footballer. Uh, but, you know, he did come into the game as time went on. Uh, and the bottom line is we've come through it. It's been a test. It is always a test when you go to Craven Cottage. But we have come through it and we should be delighted. No, we didn't play very well at all. But we should be delighted that we're in the hat for the next round. It's done and dusted. It's out the way. Uh, you know, we scored two goals, two Geordies on the score sheet. You know, we should be smiling about that. Yes, there's, there's still things we need to improve on by, you know, no... Doubt about that in my mind. There is stuff that we really need to improve on. We have to be better at Villa Park on Tuesday night because if we play like we did in the first half at Villa Park, they'll pummel us. And I think the players and the management will be very aware of that, that we have to be better than we were in the first half. But what it will be to the players is we haven't played too well tonight, but we've come through the test. And I think that's, the, that's what they will look at. And certainly I'm looking at as a fan. I'm proud of the lads for coming through a really tough test. We've rode our look at times. We've defended very well, though, in my opinion. Second half, you know, Dan Byrne made some brilliant clearances. I thought Cher and Botman were the usual selves. Cher's passing not up to scratch tonight, but defending-wise, not a problem. So there was some positives to take from tonight. The fact that we got through is the biggest one because we were all saying at half time, if this keeps going, Fulham will eventually score and probably go on to win the game. It didn't happen that way. We went and killed the game off. And, you know, we've been critical this season of, of certain games where we haven't killed the game off. And we've been made to regret that at a later stage in the game. Tonight wasn't the case. We killed the game off with Dan Burns' goal. And I thought after the, we scored the second goal, we kind of controlled things after that. Fulham kept knocking on the door, but we kept a very good shape. Eddie, it looked like he went to five at the back when Livermento was put on the left-hand side. Um, but attacking maybe, you know, changed the, the, the formation, but certainly defending, we were five, and it worked. You know, again, we've been saying to Eddie Howe, he needs to change, he needs to do something, we need to have a plan B. And he did have a plan B tonight, and we saw the game out in a very professional way, I thought. So, sum up, disappointed in the, in the performance, kind of, but delighted with the result, I think is a fair, uh, is a fair summary. Uh, and, and, and as fans, you know, you just want to win games in the FA Cup, don't you? It's a cup game. You, you win, you go through. And that's that's what we did. And now we're in the next round. But hopefully this can be a builder for the lads. You know, two weeks off, uh, a kind of tough, tough test at Craven Cottage tonight. Road our look at times, come through it though. And that's what we need to build on. And I think that'll be good momentum going into the game uh, at Villa Park on Tuesday night, providing we don't have more injuries. Because, you know, Gordon looked like he was hurting uh, towards the end of the game. Trippy is calf strain. Will Miggy be back? Who the hell knows? Um, but there you go. Uh, a 2-0 win. Delighted with it. Uh, we can play better. We know we can. But at the end of the day, we're in the next round of the FA Cup. And that's all that bloody counts at this stage. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do give it the like if you've enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're new to the channel and like what you see, please do subscribe. Free to do so. But don't forget to hit that notification bell, which will let you know when we schedule in our live shows or we upload any recorded shows uh, for you to watch. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been a very, very interesting game of football, but we've come through it, and we're in the next round of the hat. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and take care.